How's it going, everybody? Mike with Cleveland Cutting Board and Furniture Company. Time for the weekend shop update. I know I missed last week because of the holidays, so we have a bunch of stuff to talk about today. Been very, very busy. I have a really long list here in my slab of Live Edge Walnut. Um, first thing, signs. I have been making a ton of signs. Uh, I have two I'm working on right now for friends of mine that live in a very touristy area, and they're having problems with people parking and blocking their drive, like literally not edging towards the drive, but parking right in their drive block I'm in. And they have a problem with people letting their dogs crap in the yard and not picking it up. So I made a couple of great signs for them. We met a couple of nights ago, we came up with some design ideas. So got those going really well. I got signs up at True Value in Vermilion. I have some Shakiri boards up there for sale, as well as some Vermilion signs, the big, I think they're 30 inches, something like that, uh, Vermilion established signs. So I got a uh, handful of those up there. Um, those are signs are for sale. Uh, let's see what else. Um, also signs, uh, Harbortown Trading Company in Vermilion, right next to Rudy's Bar and Grill. Uh, I met with her, uh, Fran's awesome, she's got a, a shop that's just amazing, my wife loves it in there. Uh, everyone, I've, everyone I've talked to, it's more of a girl thing, but all the girls I've talked to that shop there said it's awesome and she has a lot of great style, stylish stuff, I guess the way to say it. So um, we're actually going to put some Vermilion signs and other signs up there and sell um, up at her shop. Also, I'm working with Zabo Apparel. We're going to have some laser engraved tumblers. Uh, Brian's gracious enough to let me put some in there for sale. So I'm working to expand my retail market. So if you have a retail space and you want to talk about putting some, some um, of my products in there, give me a call and we can make that happen. What else? Let's see. The boat table. I'm working on some friends of ours, uh, friends, uh, my wife and I, have a beautiful boat, uh, and they've asked to have a, it's going to be solid sapile, which is in the mahogany family, uh, the nautical star compass in the middle of it, resin filled, two shades, blue and the black, blue to match the boat, black to kind of make it stand out. So I worked on that design. They signed off on it. I even made a test piece because I wanted to see how it's going to look. I made that on a, on a white oak. Uh, I put it on Facebook. What should I do with it after it was done? table, wall art, Lazy Susan. 90% of you guys said, make it a Lazy Susan. So I ordered the hardware today, so that'll make, that, that's gonna be a Lazy Susan. I'll be up for sale in a couple of weeks. Um, not a couple of weeks, but a few days once that piece comes in, because it's already done, it's gotta screw the, I order the good heavy duty casters for the bottom, not the cheap ones with the little crappy ball bearings. So got that going on. Uh, let's see, working on a walnut bowl for a guy. He ordered a walnut bowl. Uh, he said, make me the biggest one you got, and if I like it, I'll buy it. Normally I'd say no, but I like wood turning, so I'm, I'm working on that right now. Um, he gets first dibs on, if he doesn't like it, I'll put it on the market. But it should be a pretty good sized bowl, um, definitely for a good sized family salad bowl. So that'll be done this week too. Uh, the skulls, the resin skulls, man, you guys have been loving those. I've been selling those like crazy. I'm shipping two to Painesville, I'm shipping a couple more to Mentor, I'm shipping some down to Kentucky. So yeah, so if you like, I'm gonna have, I have more coming. So I've only got three molds, so it takes a week. So I can only do, I'm kind of backed up on orders now. So when someone orders one, it takes a week once I pour it. So um, the Buckeye slab, my buddy Jonathan, he got that all set up. That's ready to go. He's picking that up this week. That's gonna get out of here. So with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up, we have cups in stock, the off-brand, the Yetis, the coffee mugs. We have all kinds of stuff. We even have some champagne tumblers that are pretty neat that are available for right now. So not to mention we have a bunch of stuff in stock. So yeah, so super busy. I know I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff I've been working on. I've been working in crazy hours. I appreciate everyone's patience, um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting caught up. I'm getting a rhythm down. Doing this full time has been a dream for a long time. So it's just a matter of getting my system down, doing that kind of stuff. Uh, what else? Been working on a bunch of signs. Uh, I got a big sign. I'm really excited. I'm working on that final design with the owner of that business. Uh, I'm gonna release that, probably talk about that more in detail next week, but big white oak, uh, thick, it's gonna be, a nice looking wood sign for front of his business. That's going on. Also making a sign for, uh, that's gonna be out of White Oak. And then another sign for Harbortown Trading Company. We're making a sign. We're gonna use actually foam board for that. So they sign off on that design, I think. I'm pretty sure they did. So lots going on as always. I, uh, what else? Yard work and getting the car ready for the summer. Got the Mustang out. Got the bike getting brakes put on it. And I'm chomping to get the pool open because it's been so nice, but there's some cold weather coming. So the plan is to get the pool open soon. So best way I know to knock the sawdust off on a hot summer day. But we got cutting boards in stock. We got security boards in stock, wood bowls in stock, cups in stock. Uh, you name it, we have it in stock. So if you need a gift for, like I said before, not to repeat myself, if you need a wedding gift, if you need a housewarming gift, a birthday gift, a Mother's Day gift, a Father's Day gift, a graduation gift, graduation cups. Those are a great popular gift to give someone who's graduating uh, high school or college. So. 
So yeah, so we are busy. Uh, I've kind of had to start reinforcing my hours. So no more texting me at nine o'clock at night saying, hey, can I get a cutting board? I'm not answering those texts anymore. I'm gonna, you guys gotta have some restrictions. I got people texting me at nine, 10 o'clock at night or six in the morning. So you can send me the message, but don't expect an answer back. Um, it's just, I just gotta get into that routine. So I appreciate everyone being supportive and wanna talk about one last thing in this week's episode of Dumb Shit People Say to Small Business Owners. So I write gift certificates. What happens a lot of times is people order a gift certificate for a, you know, they'll buy a gift certificate for a cutting board or more common, they'll get a gift certificate, they'll buy the board and then give a gift certificate for the laser engraving. So um, they're good for a year. I mean, I tell people I write on there good for one year. If you come back 14 months later, it's not a huge deal. I had someone come back with a gift certificate that was five years old. Now, five years ago, Laser engraving was half the price it is now because cost has gone up. Electricity prices are going up. The tube, better place the tube, that's going up. So I said, yes, so your gift certificate's for X. If you want laser engraving, you have to throw in the difference. Well, I got a gift certificate for laser engraving. It expired a year ago. So you can pay the difference or you can, I can void the gift certificate. So when you get a gift certificate, I know the laws are funny and I've looked them up and I read into them. So I'm 100% within my right. Uh, it's all in the verbiage. I've had lawyers look at it. So if you own a small business, you might want to look into that also. If you have a gift certificate, don't, if it's that old and someone says no, don't take it personally. You had a year or however long is, I've never heard of a gift certificate less than a year, um, but I've never, it's one of those things, don't be, don't be rude to the business owner because you forgot to use the gift certificate. So anyway, that's it for this weekend's Cleveland Cutting Board Weekend Shop update. Uh, I, my list is opening up. I'm booking work now into May. So if you need something done furniture wise, give me a call. Let me know. We'll get you set up. Have a great weekend. Be cool. Be kind. Uh, stay motivated and make sure you hit that uh, subscribe and like button. Uh, and the more subscribes and more likes, the more views I get in my videos, the more I'll start producing. So I'll see you on Tuesday for Shop Tip Tuesday. And then again on Wednesday for Whiskey and Wood.